see where the passage leads. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. We're certain to find something here. So, technically, this is a side quest. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. Sounds like a riddle, all right. I didn't pay attention. I was playing on my phone. 21st century style. I'm sorry. Okay, we need to listen to this again. Mind repeating the riddle? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. But well, that should be relatively easy. Let's see if we can solve this. So, what is the first? One, two, three, four. So, first is the third. Then the second. Wait. Something just happened. Behind that wall, a movement. The fourth and then the first. I wonder what would have happened if we died. I don't think we failed. We would have failed. Hmm. Whose grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. Sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried. I guess this is Laura Doran's sepulchre. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Siri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? Wait, where can I read? Ah, notes. Yes, yes, yes. Day, whoa, 3,275. Final conclusions regarding the lamp. My experience with the magic lamp unequivocally confirm that by using it active centers of condensed spiritual energy can be coaxed into contact and can communicate a limited set of the being's last memories 
Lara Doran's remains, however, emit entirely an inert spiritual energy despite the whole conditions of her death, which should have strengthened the desire tendency, desired tendency. Lara remains silent. At this point, further research on lamps enabling contact with the dead seem entirely useless for my purpose. To go. Piece of power. It's gotta be. Yeah. Sorry about dumb. Urgent matters need my attention. Goodbye.